Usually I'm not drawn to period pieces like this, but when it's directed by Yorgos Lantimos, who just brought us the lobster and the killing of a sacred deer, well then, then I'm intrigued. We went for something dramatic. <laughs> Majesty. I'd like to enjoy the music now. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and the favorite is so effortlessly one of this year's best movies that it's almost frightening. But it's really that entertaining, that masterfully crafted and that filled with great performances and cinematic flavor. It is the third English language film by Greek director Yorgos Lantimos and his personal unique way of directing is easily recognizable from the get-go. The film is equally playful and delightful as it is meticulously constructed. From the way the images are framed to the long tracking shots, the set designs, how music is connecting the scenes that are carefully separated and connected by the editing. The whole story is also divided into several rather short chapters whose titles are laid out in a very particular style that is again also used for the credits as well as the poster. The names of those chapters are also directly picked up again in the dialogues. And the dialogues on the other hand are yet another element of the film that is very poignant and witty. Which brings me to the people who are playing the characters in the film and the way Lantimos is directing them. He populates his world with marvelous characters who are being brought to life by absolutely stunning actors and more so actresses who give such delightful and strong performances. And all of this brings me back to my initial observation. The favorite is both extremely entertaining and playful as it is meticulously crafted in a way that's reminiscent of Stanley Kubrick, only that it has a whole different tone. The setting of the favorite is a luxurious, decadent English court at the beginning of the 18th century. England is at war with the French and Queen Anne, played by Olivia Colman, has to make difficult decisions for the future of her people. Bummer that she's neither that interested in politics nor that sure what she should do and from the beginning the absurdity of this whole feudal system is resonating. But the main focus of the film isn't politics but a relationship between three remarkable women. Lady Sarah, played by Rachel Weisz, is Queen Anne's closest friend and she's not only governing the country in her stead but she also shares the bed with her. Their banter is fantastic and you can feel their passion and love but also their brutal honesty towards each other. Their relationship is quite strong but everything is getting mixed up once the new servant Abigail arrives at court. Abigail is portrayed by Emma Stone and she's simply incredible here. She arrived at court getting kicked out of the carriage, landing in mud, getting kind of abused by her new superiors and one wonders how she's deserving all this harsh reality. I hoped I might be employed here by you as something. A monster for the children to play with perhaps. <sighs> But then again this is the 18th century and its social hierarchy is pretty messed up. Emma Stone is so strong, her character so tough and fierce and unyielding in her wish to get out of her miserable situation that she's making the audience her accomplice from the get-go. It's only later that one realizes just how dark, twisted and manipulative her ways are. Yet one can't help but respect her I guess. Like always I don't want to give away much of the plot but at its core it's kind of a love triangle. Those three women and their story and the world they are living in is brought to the screen in such a fascinating way that one can't help but feel delighted while watching this. It's a sharp screenplay realized by a visionary director and filled with strong and also very funny performances. Besides our three leads we also get one of Nicholas Holt's best roles and like everyone in the film he has his own agenda and his own ways of getting what he wants. He's also another one who pushes Abigail around but again she has her own options to deal with that. The favorite simply has Wonderful characters, perfect comedic timing and such a strong direction. And while it's quite wicked and downright brutal at times, this is so much more than just a two hour long sick little joke. The film isn't just making fun of its characters because it succeeds at giving them personality and a true emotional core as well. Queen Anne can be loathsome. She seems to be so powerful on the surface, shouting at innocent young servants when she got a temper and she's able to command everybody around. But she's also so very dependent on other people and has also a very sad element to her character that I don't want to give away. Rachel Weisz as Lady Sarah first comes across as a very rigorous and maybe cold determined woman but there's also more to her and her relationship to Anne. And Emma Stone as Abigail is truly mesmerizing and a really dark twisted human being that you can loathe and respect, despise 
and understand at the same time. And the setting of a period film is only adding to the dynamics of this story, and I've said it in the past and I'm saying it again, normally this isn't a setting that I'm naturally drawn to, but when it's done with such a sharp eye I can't help but fall in love. The favorite is as far away from a dry, slow and heavy period piece as it can be. It rather takes those elements, puts a new spin on them and the result is simply marvelous. So in German I'd say, the favorite is das Resultat eines Meisterregisseurs, dem es scheinbar ganz mühelos gelingt, große Filmkunst aus dem Ärmel zu schütteln. Fein säuberlich erzählt und doch ganz spielerisch gibt er seinen drei großartigen Hauptdarstellerinnen die Bühne, die sie verdienen, um eine zutiefst unterhaltsame und auch tragisch komische Geschichte zu entfalten. I give the favorite 9 out of 10. It's more like 8.5, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it. Like always, comment below and let me know what you think about the favorite. And also, what is your favorite movie by Yorgos Lantimos? Have you seen his Greek ones maybe? You can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram simply at The Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.